Discover the wonders of the universe as we journey the largest and most distant water reservoir ever found. Travel 12 billion light years from Earth to witness the incredible energy and luminosity of this ancient quasar. Join us on this thrilling voyage to explore one of the universe's most fascinating phenomena. Quasar APM 08279 plus 5255, besides having a difficult name to pronounce, is the largest and most distant water reservoir ever found in the universe. Discovered in 1998, this quasar is located in the direction of the Lynx constellation and was observed from the northern hemisphere of Earth using large telescopes. The name of APM 088279 plus 5255, from here on we will just call it APM, comes from the Automated Plate Measuring, APM, survey, a project that uses photographic plates to map the sky. The numbers in the name indicate the quasar's coordinates in the sky, allowing astronomers to locate it precisely. A quasar, or quasi-stellar object, is an extremely luminous active galactic nucleus, powered by a supermassive black hole at its center. Quasars are some of the brightest and most energetic objects in the universe, often outshining entire galaxies. Located 12 billion light years away from Earth, this quasar gives us a glimpse into the distant past, showing us the universe as it was less than 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Its immense distance and extraordinary characteristics make it a unique and valuable subject of study in the field of astronomy. Let's head to the quasar. Now each bright point is a galaxy. Each galaxy contains millions, billions, or trillions of stars. The quasar APM is 12 billion light years from Earth. Today, 200,000 quasars are already known in the universe. There are billions of galaxies between the Milky Way and the Quasar. We are traveling 100 million light years per second. Let's speed up a bit more. Quasars are among the most energetic and luminous objects in the universe, typically found at the centers of distant galaxies. They are powered by supermassive black holes, which can have masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our Sun. APM is a prime example of such an object.
This quasar is fueled by a black hole with a mass 20 billion times greater than the Sun. As matter falls into the black hole, it heats up and emits tremendous amounts of energy, making the quasar incredibly bright. The light we see from APM left it 12 billion years ago, meaning we are observing it as it was when the universe was only about 1.6 billion years old. This ancient light provides valuable insights into the early universe. Surrounding the black hole is a vast accretion disk of gas and dust, extending over hundreds of light years. This disk is incredibly hot, with temperatures reaching millions of degrees, and it emits powerful radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays. The quasar produces an astonishing amount of energy, about a quadrillion times more than the sun. This immense energy output is due to the rapid accretion of material into the black hole, which can sometimes be seen as jets of particles being ejected at nearly the speed of light. In comparison, the black hole at the center of the Milky Way, Sagittarius A star, has a mass of about 4 million times that of the Sun and is relatively quiet. The intense activity of APM's black hole makes it one of the most powerful objects known. This quasar's luminosity is equivalent to that of a thousand galaxies combined, making it a beacon visible across vast cosmic distances. The surrounding gas and dust, as well as the extreme gravitational forces at play, contribute to the quasar's dynamic and ever-changing appearance. APM is not only extraordinary in its energy output, but also in its size. The quasar's diameter spans trillions of miles, large enough to engulf our entire solar system many times over. gravitational influence extends far beyond its immediate vicinity, affecting the motion of nearby stars and gas clouds. The discovery of water vapor in the vicinity of this quasar is remarkable. The water is distributed in a massive cloud around the black hole, spread over hundreds of light years. This water vapor exists in the form of gas and is heated to temperatures far higher than those found on Earth. The black hole is constantly consuming the surrounding gas and dust growing larger most of time. Current measurements suggest that there is enough material to feed the black hole and allow it to increase its mass by up to six times its current size. The immense gravitational pull of the quasar also influences nearby stars. Some stars are drawn in and eventually consumed by the black hole, while others are flung away at high velocities, creating a chaotic and dynamic environment around the quasar. The stars that remain in orbit around the quasar engage in a complex gravitational dance, their motions influenced by the powerful gravitational forces at play. Finding this quasar in such a distant galaxy demonstrates that water is spread throughout the universe since its earliest times. The presence of this huge water vapor amount in APM suggests that water has been a common component in the universe for billions of years. 
This discovery provides crucial insights into the chemical composition and physical conditions of the early universe. The galaxy hosting APM is so distant that we are seeing its light from a remote past, specifically from a time when the universe was only about 1.6 billion years old. This allows astronomers to study the evolution of galaxies and the role of quasars in shaping them. By analyzing the light from this quasar, scientists can infer the conditions that prevailed in the early universe, offering clues about the formation of galaxies, stars, and even planets. The galaxy is so distant that any potential inhabitants there, pointing telescopes in the current direction of Earth, wouldn't be able to see us. Observing from here, it would still take 7 billion years for our planet to form from the accumulation of rocks around the Sun. At that time, not even our Sun had been born yet, highlighting the vast timescales involved in cosmic evolution. The discovery of water vapor in such an ancient and distant quasar challenges our understanding of galaxy formation and the role of black holes in the universe. It suggests that supermassive black holes were actively influencing their environments and potentially regulating star formation in their host galaxies much earlier than previously assumed. If you enjoyed the trip, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more space travel. Leave in the comments which place in the universe you would like to explore in the next videos. And if you want to support our work, check out the pinned comment. Every contribution helps keep our ship moving. Thanks for watching and see you on the next Star Trip.